Hi there! Welcome to a new tutorial on LifeFX. In this video we're taking a quick look at properly keying green screen scenes. Note that all techniques shown in this video also apply to Scratch for Post. Now typically we would start by creating a live capture, choosing green screen with background, specify our SDI input channel, background plate, camera tracker, etc. and once created, jump into the LifeFX tab. Now as you can see, I currently do not have a live camera signal coming in. However, what I want to show you here is the predefined layer stack on the left side. The primaries layer is basically our live video coming in from the camera. Next we have a layer with our chosen background on it and on top of that another layer which contains the Kia putting the live camera feed without the green back on top. As you can see our layer stack grows from top to bottom. Now, since I don't have a live signal coming in, I'll simply use a clip from disk in order to show you how to key the green screen. It works the exact same way as with a live camera signal and we will basically create this layer stack from scratch. Back to the construct tab. Let's create a new timeline and import this clip and the background we want to use. I'll drop both assets into one slot and switch to the LifeFX tab. Now same as before, the primary layer is our clip, untouched, same as before the live camera signal. So let's create our first layer. Now generally a layer can contain a grade, an effects plugin, or a texture of any kind. Let me delete this, create a new layer and call it background. Now let's go to the fill mod menu. What we want to load is a simple single frame texture to replace the green screen with. We can either right click and choose import to import straight from disk or fetch to fetch it from a different timeline in our project. Maybe one I specifically created to hold any compositing assets or since I have that texture right here in the version stack I can just grab it from there and drop it into the fill field here. Done. In here I can also scale down the texture a little since it's bigger than our current shot. This is now simply one image on top of another as you can see if I toggle the layer on and off. Of course I can also move it around by going to the canvas menu and dialing in an offset or by just grabbing it right here in the viewport like this. Now that we have the background in, let's create a new layer called Kia and go to the qualifier menu. In here we can first choose from 5 different Kias. With green screen, typically the Chroma or HSV Kia work best. Today I'll go with the HSV Kia. In order to better see what we're doing, I'll temporarily disable the background layer and pause the video. Next we need to select what we're keying from. Typically you want to pull your key either from the untouched source, which is the green screen live signal, or from the primary layer in case you applied a LUT or grade there that enables LifeFX to better key the image. A recursive key would only apply if we had a number of grading layers in between our Kia layer and the source clip and we want our Kia to grab frames of the result of all those layers. That won't work with our texture here in between of course. The texture fill and matte options would pull a key from what is inside the fill matte menu. That can either be an actual texture, like a green screen clip or live capture, that we dropped in there for this particular layer. But it can also work without that. I'll get to that in a bit. Now in our case, let's for now key from the source and pick the color. If I hold down control when picking, I can drag up a rectangle and sample more shades of green. Enabling the C plus option allows me to add to the current selection. Ok, our basic selection is there. Now let's refine the key using the sliders here. First, let's see how many shades of green and yellow we can cover here without affecting the skin tones. Next is the saturation slider. Not too much to adjust here. With the luminance however, we want to add a lot of softness to make the key smooth, especially around the hair. Ok, that looks pretty good for now. Let's disable the show matte option and enable our background layer again. 
Oh, look at that. Our talent and the key are gone. This is because our key Alea is currently set to be a recursive. In other words, it takes the output of the previous layer as its input and takes it from there. In our case, we do not want that, but instead we want to get our input for this layer from the source directly, bypassing all the layers in between. By hitting this button, we can flip the layer into non-recursive mode. And there's our keyed live signal. Let's also invert our key. Now we're looking at a result of some sort. However, if we zoom in here, we can still see some green spill around the edges. Let's take care of that. There's two ways to go about this. The quick and easy way is to simply go to the curves menu, select the hue versus saturation curve and dial down the green and a bit of the yellow hue. If we toggle the bypass button of the curves, we can clearly see the effect. However, we're also affecting our skin tones with this, as we can see if we zoom out a little bit. The other way to go about this is the spill suppression that comes with the qualifier. Let's reset this and head back to the qualifier menu and there into the options tab. The spill suppression will only be available if we key from a texture fill, however. So let's now quickly change the drop down over here from source to texture fill. In case you see your talent disappear, head over to the fill map menu and make sure that recursive grade is indeed disabled. It's the same setting as the button up here in the layer stack. Back to the options tab. We can now pick the color that we want to treat. In this case, our green. The spill dropdown offers us a couple of options. Let's start with the desaturate option and dial up the parameter. Okay, let's stop here and take a look at the overall image. This already looks pretty good and we could leave it like this. However, I also want to show you the recover option, which recovers colors around the edges. Let's dial back the effect a little. Perfect. The upside here is that it leaves our skin tones completely untouched. Now let's hit play again. Great, our key is pretty solid. If we see any noise or other issues with the key, we can always tweak it, even whilst the video is playing. Now we can go ahead and add more layers to the layer stack. For instance, to color grade the result. Or add plugins into the mix, like this old TV effect. As said in the beginning, this technique works for both live signals and live effects, as well as recorded footage in post with Scratch. However, this especially becomes interesting when using Source Capture here in the record tab of the LifeFX menu. In this case, LifeFX will record all assets separately and then store the offline composite as a version in the version stack. We can then go in and even refine the key, swap out the virtual background, change the grade and more before rendering out dailies or preview files. This however is covered in a separate tutorial. See you there.